well, based on my mom mashup comments at the beginning of the night. Isn't this interesting? This woman is thinking about these things. She's not just like going to the store and, and procuring items without any thought at all to may there be some hidden messages in these toys. This woman is not buying the Walmart Kool-Aid, so we like this. Um, just last week we were at Target and of course had to take a trip to the baby section. Right as we turn the corner there's an end cap with a bright pink toy shopping cart filled with plastic food. Why are the carts pink? The carts at the grocery store aren't pink. My husband grew up in a household where the father did all the grocery shopping, cooking, and other kitchen work. I want to meet that guy. Sounds good. Most chefs on TV are men, even though this toy with a famous cake baker's face on it forgets that. So why the gendering of the pretend grocery shopping? Addressing your blog and the issue that you raise with these pink shopping carts and you're saying is this gendering of pretend grocery shopping? And I'm, I'm going to just take a moment and ring the aunt bell here and say yes it probably is and I'll tell you why. Because um, we are constantly in our society faced with these um, gendering ideas and I get solicited from Hollywood all the time for new shows whether that's um, it, the, the series makers with uh, uh, say yes to the dress um, what's the one where they look at your clothes and tell you how uh, awful you look and they do a makeover on you and they're always creating new shows and at the end of the show that they contact me about of course it usually has to do with uh, larger than life uh, family a mother who's in a rock band or that kind of thing and always the winner gets that's, you guessed it, a washing machine or some other kitchen appliance. And this uh, fabulous prize of the washing machine or other kitchen appliance is somehow supposed to satiate or offer payment, satiate a need or offer payment for this fabulous opportunity you've had to star in their reality series. So I'm going to go with you on this and say yes. This probably was some sort of gender specific uh, thing and you're good to tag it. I'm going to come back to your article in a minute. I want to play another song because we're having a party. So we want to engage in these uh, subjects that are enlivening and interesting and make us evaluate our life around us, but we don't want to get too bogged down in it. So we're going to play kind of actually a sexy song because feminist moms are sexy too, right? Um, and this is a song called Santa Baby. I'm sure you know it by Cynthia. That's the net. Oh, yeah. Santa baby, just slip a sable under the tree for me. 